Good evening. Welcome to High School Basketball here on the Toledo Sports Network and CW13. I'm Norm Raymer along with Mike Bauman. We're at Lake High School for the Lake Holiday Tournament. We've got a doubleheader for you. The first one up, it is Cardinal Stretch to take on Maumee. Maumee, a rough start at 0-5. Cardinal Stretch at 4-1. Their lone loss on the road at Gibsonburg. Yep, Austin Adams is doing a great job so far this year. Norm, he has a chance to be one of the best guys that's ever done it for Cardinal Stritch. He had 25 and a victory over Northwood. But conversely, look at Maumee, even though this is a team that struggled so far, they just came off of a tough loss against a very athletic Scott Bulldogs team. But they do have size. They've got five guys that go 6'3 or above. Austin Adams is a very versatile player, can score. Coach Cash Merrick has these guys playing tough defense this year, but they struggled a little bit in the transitional defense game early against Emmanuel Christian, a game we did earlier this year. Obviously, that was early in the season, but the key tonight is going to be the defensive rebounding for Cardinal Stretch, especially with that size of Maumee. And it's always a step up when a team from the TAC takes on a team from the NLL. It's Maumee against Cardinal Stretch, and it's coming your way next here on the Toledo Sports Network. It's CW13. All right, good evening. Glad to have you with us here. Toledo Sports Network, CW13. Number 15, Brendan Callahan. Got your starting lineups for tonight. First of all, for the Maumee Panthers. Six foot senior, number 21, Louis Morrow. Well, we could go to we can go to the Cardinals, whichever way you want to go. Since they were they're announcing Maumee, that's where I was I was going. Austin Calipedro on the backcourt, 6'3 junior, along with Brandon Callahan, a 6'1 senior, and Louis Morrow, a six foot junior in the front court. Brian Utter in the front court, 6'2 senior. Jared Schrenier, a 6'5 junior. Rounds out the starting okay, lineup. For the Cardinals, Rich Cardinals. 6'1", senior number two, Chris Blazovich. Chris Blazovich in the backcourt for Cardinal Stritch, 6'1", senior. Go along with Brandon Payev, a 5'10", senior. 5'10", senior, number 10, Brandon Payev. Front court, Joe Sine, a 6'2", senior, Eddie Usher. Or Eddie Ewer, six, six, a 6'5 senior, senior, and Austin Adams, Adams. the 6'6 six, six senior and uh, conference player of the year candidate. 6'2 senior number 23, Joe Sine. 6'5 senior number 24, Eddie Ewer. The Cardinals are coached by Mr. J. Kashmarik. Whenever you got a player that tilts the floor like Austin Adams, Mike, you, you, that strategy becomes so important, one for Maumee. They're trying to keep not only him from scoring, but, but him from getting touches. And for Cardinal Stritch, they have to find ways to work him off of screens and do those things to be able to give him the ball. Absolutely, you know, and, it, and it's not easy to prevent Austin Adams from getting touches because since he's been a freshman, we've seen his development. He's a very versatile player, got a very good inside-outside game, plays with a lot of energy and, and brings it at both ends of the court. So that's going to be a challenge for Maumee tonight. But conversely, the Panthers have some size, especially inside that Cardinal stretch is going to see tonight. So the defensive rebounding and the transition buckets are really, really going to be key in this one. Austin Adams jumping it up with Ryan Utter. And the Cardinals will get the ball to start things off. Running a little motion to start and a steal by Morrow.
Don't let the records deceive you. Cardinal stretch at four and one, Maumee at 0 and five. When a tack team uh, steps up to play an NLL team, it's a difficult task. Well, and we mentioned the size, especially when you can bring a couple of guys who go 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 plus off your bench like the Panthers can. That's not easy as the game goes on, as we've seen earlier this year. So the baseline cut off and back out. Three-pointer. Got it. Morrow. Louis Morrow. 4-3. Well, he's one of those seniors. Got a nice open look in the corner. Good ball movement so far. A lot of patience on that possession from the Panthers. And really, you talk about the competition, and you look at Maumee coming off a tough loss to Scott, where they put up 46 points, gave up 72, but Jason Matcham had 13 in that game. Morrow will get his first foul. Here's a jumper by Ewer, and he got it on the elbow. Straight pass to number 24, Eddie Ewer. One of six seniors for the Stritch Cardinals, Norman. You look at Cash Merritt coming in here, a guy with a lot of college coaching experience, coach various places in the country, a Rossford native coming back to this area. And so far, you look at the stretch record at 4-1, and one, these kids have really bought into his system, especially those seniors. And that's what you can ask for if you're a head coach coming in with a brand new system and you've got that many upperclassmen. Calipetro fires the three, no good. Long shot, long rebound. Brian Utter with the rebound. And Utter's a guy who can get it going, average eight points per game last year for the Panthers. Tried to get it inside, did get it into a double team, and foul drawn. Well, you're already seeing some of that size early. Good awareness by the Panthers that time to get it down to the big fella and Schreiner at 6'5. Sene with the foul. Open three, Callahan got it. Brendan, Brendan Callahan, Callahan. Four, three. Yeah, so far guys just not rotating well on a couple of possessions, two wide open threes in the corners for the Panthers. If you're stretch, you gotta communicate on the back end and make sure that the double teams don't get caught up and leaving those guys open on the wings. Hey, I've cut off and back on out to Adams. You can see he draws double teams. Another double team turns into a tie up, which turns into a turnover on the possession arrow. Pub 51 is just a great neighborhood bar and grill. They're about as close to being all things to all people as I've seen. They have a miniature bowling league, and they take that pretty darn seriously. Oh, and a dartball league, and a cornhole league, and a pool league. They have a lot of leagues. Pub 51 has a big outdoor patio, too. Their pizza and food are reasonably priced, too. Give Pub 51 a try. They're on Woodville Road, just a half mile east of the Woodville Mall. On the job for you for over 100 years. You need a career. You need a future. Local 8 can help you make it happen. Join the men and women who build our community. Become a part of a proud tradition. Build your career. Build your future with the brothers and sisters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 8. We're on the job for you. We're on the job for you. We're the local IBEW. Two zone they're seeing from the Panthers. Coach Cash Merrick not really liking the ball movement so far, Norm, but it gives us a chance to say thank you to some of our awesome sponsors here at Toledo Sports Network, including IBW Local 8. They've been with us pretty much since the beginning. Really appreciate them. Happy holidays to everybody out at IBW, as also UA Local 50 to Pipe Fitters and Plumbers and Pub 51 out on Woodville Road. Got the last week of the regular season coming up, a couple of big games on Sunday. 
including my Detroit Lions against the Green Bay Packers. So go out there, check that out, get some good food. I didn't know you owned the Detroit Lions. I do. I do. Minor, oh. minor ownership, minor stake I in the team, I learn something Norm. new every day. You know, I don't, I don't like to brag, Norm. You know what I mean? <laughs> A little one, two, two, three quarter court pressure. I forgot. Kind of morphing into a one, three. They'll get it across to the basket. Shot no good. Calipetro got his own rebound. Three pointer. Nope, and the rebound goes to Adams. Adams with the pass of the quarter to Payev. Shot no good, weak side rebound, couldn't hang on. It was Bobby Romstad who came into the game, 6'3 senior. And you mentioned trying to limit Adams' touches. You saw that time, Norm. Mommy get back in transition, pick him up right away as soon as he came across half court and made it very difficult as soon as he got into the paint. 6'2 Mommy with the lead. Schreiner with the turnaround, too, too hard. Out of bounds, Mommy will keep it. Panthers will inbound to Calipetro. Into the corner, Callahan. Now got to get it away. Pass batted away. Maumee will keep it. 4-19 to go in the first. 6-2 Maumee with the lead over Cardinal Stretch. First to two. Here at the Lake Holiday Classic, it will be Lake against Bryan to follow. Long pass out top. Dangerous pass. Jumper no good. The rebound to Adams. Callahan's going to go wherever Adams goes. Bad pass after the slip. Turnover. Morrow to the basket. No good. And a rebound to Sine. Yeah, you can hear Coach Kashmirik wanting Austin to get rid of the ball quicker when he comes up court. Good defensive pressure again from the Panthers. Two points and three turnovers for Cardinal Stretch. Might have gotten away with a walk, got it up and in. Well, and I think if you're the stretch, you're at a size disadvantage a little bit here against this Panthers team. They're playing a 3-2 zone, trying to take away those inside opportunities. But you have to continue to get into the paint and try to draw contact against the big fellas to at least give your shot at the charity stripe instead of settling for outside shots. So I like what Stritch is doing in terms of trying to get it into the paint and get the easy buckets within 15 feet. Follow Blazevich for Cardinal Stretch. Looks, looks like a 3-2 zone from the Cardinals. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound to Romstad. Foul line, Romstad, well, he dished it off. Blazevich, no good on the three and a foul on a rebound. A push on the Panthers. Well, and if you're a Cardinals fan, you're happy that the ball is staying with you, but that was a wide open look that time from Romstad, and he just hesitated a little bit. Some of that can be some of the bigs down low, but young fellow's got a bucket already. That's a pretty good shot if you can get it right at the top of the key like that. Blazevich will come out. Trent Besgrove comes in, 5'7", junior. Cardinal stretch. Pass Grove to Payev and back on out. Adams dished. Payev for three. Got it. That'll open some things up for Adams too if his teammates can help him out on shots like that. Well, I like the patience that time on the possession. Payoff is one of those pit bulls for Cardinal Stretch in terms of his defensive intensity. Usually looks to distribute the basketball, but just doing a great time of finding the hole in the defense and knocking down the three from the, from the corner like that. I like it. So 
difference between a 2-3 and a 3-2. 3-2 zone, which is what the Cardinals are throwing out there, helps you defend the perimeter better. But it well, does give up some things on the inside. Well, and you try to force the team that you're playing to really set up their offense from the free throw line up and not get deep penetration, which is what they're trying to do right now with their length up top and take away some of that inside presence that they saw in the first part of the quarter. Pass in on a foul. But so far, Mommy's got the right idea, Norm. They're going inside out, trying to look for the big guys, which is allowing them to open up some space around the perimeter. Gotten a couple of good three-point looks so far here tonight. Romstad with a foul. Stretch their first lead at 7-6. Minute 35 to go in the first. Three-pointer. Nope, hit the support. So the three-pointer by Callahan, no good. Yeah, and I don't know if on that one, if he hesitated because he was trying to square up more, but once he took that second fake, I think he kind of zoned himself out a little bit instead of just stepping right into the shot. Yeah, it disrupts your own rhythm. Stretch with the ball in the lead. Stanton tried to lob it in. Nice pass on the inside, laid up and in by Joe Sine. Real good look that time. Floated it right over the top of the defender. When you've got big guys like that who are fronting you, that's about your only option. That couldn't have been a perfect pass there. 7 0 run by Stretch, and now they force a turnover. First one on the Panthers. Right side, jumper, Adams, no good. Oh, look at that. Off the tap, offensive rebound, Romstadt back up and in. Four points, two boards off the bench, and it's a five-point stretch lead. Out of bounds, and they say last touch by Cardinal Stretch. So far, the activity down low for Stretch. After that timeout, when they regrouped early in the first quarter, ball movement's been a lot better. The pass have been a lot more crisp, and they've been really patient instead of scatterbrain like they kind of were the first part of the quarter. And they've turned it up a little bit defensively with this zone. It's a 9-0 stretch run and 11-6 lead. Three-pointer, Calipetro no good. Rebound Adams. And so far he's doing his part on the defensive glass, which is going to be so key tonight against the size of this team. Adams will look for the final shot here. Down to four seconds, three, he'll dish it off. Pay up for three and got it. Well, that's a heck of a way to end the quarter. On a 12-0 run, Stritz takes a 14-6 lead at the end of a quarter. We'll take a timeout and be back on the Lake Holiday Classic on the Toledo Sports Network and CW13. installed plus heated seats starting at just 149 no one can stop the winter but with TAS you can have a nice warm vehicle waiting for you get over to TAS today TAS Electronics Feel the power TAS Electronics It's hot Safety Partners Limited has been providing excellence in safety since 1992 adding our Oregon, Ohio store in 2013. SPL Outfitters provides face, head, foot, hand, body, and hearing protection with great brands like Wolverine, Red Cap, Dickey, Wrangler Workwear, and many top safety brands. SPL also carries fire-resistant clothing, harnesses, high-vis apparel, boots, and boot care items. SPL is located in the Buffalo Wild Wings Plaza on Navarre Avenue. The Big Apple Deli has all the food for your next party or get together. The best subs, salads, soups, pasta, party trays, and great, great lunch and dinner specials. The Big Apple Deli, 2118 Woodville Road, has got you ready for all your party needs or just stop out for a great, great lunch. Pro Golf Academies and Technologies and Pro Golf Fairways, Toledo's number one stop for all your golf equipment needs. Instruction with licensed PGA and LPGA Tour instructor Jeff Menor and the best golf simulators in the area. Located right next to Nick and Jimmy's on Monroe Street, custom club fitting with name brand clubs and professional lock and lie capability. You can play in 18 holes on our Pro Golf Fairways with over 80 courses throughout the world with our state-of-the-art golf simulator systems. Call us at 419-205-6644.
Back we are at the Lake Holiday Classic on the Toledo Sports Network at CW13. Norm Weimer along with Mike Bauman. 14 to 6, Stritch with the lead. Maumee had a 6 2 lead before a stretch timeout. The Cardinals on a 12 0 run since then. Well, a couple of early threes from the Panthers doing a great job going inside outside on Cardinal Stretch, but the Cardinals regroup Norm. They bring three guys up top, two in the back, and really are forcing Maumee to set up their offense closer to half court than they'd like, and those bigs aren't getting the same types of touches. So let's see what Coach Sheridan and company are doing to make adjustments here in the second quarter. Adams with the basketball for Stretch. Got a little screen, dish to the corner. Payab couldn't get it away that time. Best Grove, dangerous pass, but it found its way back out. Here's Adams for three. That was short. Offensive rebound underneath. Romstad couldn't get it to go. And last touch by Stretch. Romstad's doing the dirty work right now. For whatever reason, he's continuing to be able to slip underneath the front lines of that Maumee Panthers defense on the low block there and done a great job of getting second chance opportunities from Stritch. Didn't cash it that time, but he's getting the position. Well, defensively, when you come out high and you're trying to deal with Austin Adams, you're going to leave yourself some room underneath, and there's a block. Foul going to be on Payev, his first. Team foul number four. And still no free throws in this game. Not one free throw so far from either team, and some of that can be a tribute to the, the ball movement right now from Cardinal Stritch, and conversely for Maumee, took several threes there in that first quarter. A lot of jump shots. Exactly. A lot of jump shots. Still in that 3-2 zone, which has been very effective. They brought that out after Maumee hit a couple of early threes. And Maumee has not scored since. I like how they double down on the block. Dangerous pass and back on out. Boy, this is a chess match here because Maumee's doing a pretty good job of ball movement. But Cardinal Stritch is doing a better job of defense. Well, and Utter's doing a good job of continuing to flash on either, either block, depending on which way the ball goes. But the hands right now are very active for Cardinal Stritch, and it's making it very difficult. I think one thing that Maumee can try to do on the perimeter norm, especially at the top of the key, is take one or two dribbles, get into the teeth of that defense, and see if they don't double-team you and open it up for the guys on the low block. Well, Romstadt was the one who chipped that ball out of bounds, and the pressure finally gets to the Panthers. I'm a, I'm a big believer in high school basketball. It's about 35, 40 seconds on a possession, and and after after about 35, 40 seconds, bad things start to happen. <laughs> well, and I think the guys start to press a little bit. They start to wonder when they're going to get that shot, when they're going to get that opportunity. Yeah, I th I think it's math. I mean, it eventually you keep passing it around enough, eventually you're going to make a mistake. And that's a good defensive Three possession. Three seconds. Yes, yes it is. Well, when we did the Emmanuel Stritch uh, game earlier this year, Emmanuel, they did a really good job of hanging in there with the Cardinals until a technical foul kind of sent them off kilter. But so far the transition defense has been much, much better, which you would expect as the season goes on, especially under a first year head coach with the Cardinals. 5'9 sophomore Josh Brantley into the game. Number 11 for Maumee. That time they got inside, they got it up and in, Brian Hutter. Well, eventually that crisp passing was going to pay off, and I liked it that time. They get it in the corner, automatically look for the big man down low in a one-on-one -on -one situation. That's a great pass right there. And we thought that's what Maumee was going to do coming in, was going to try to pound it down inside. 14-8, stretch with the lead. 5.22 to go, second quarter. Well, one thing about Stritch, too, we've done several of their games over the last few years, Norm, especially seeing Austin Adams' development. They've always been a scrappy team, even when they weren't as athletic. And I think this year they're starting to harness that a little bit better. Into the tall timbers, able to dish it off, and look who got the basket. Bobby Robstad. Bobby Robstad. All six, three of them. 
hanging in there with the big fellas of Maumee. I love what I'm seeing from the young fellas so far. Well, this game changed when Robstad come in off the bench. It absolutely did. And a lot of it's just hustle and being in the right place. And it could be infectious, and that's a steal. Adams to Robstad, took it right to the hole. Got it blocked, but drew the foul. Decent block by Calipetro, but got him with the body. And we got our first free throws tonight from the SPL Outfitters free throw line over there in the Navarre Plaza next to BW3s. Great clothing for all you hard workers out there. First free throw, no good. First thing Romstadt didn't do well so far. <laughs> Six points, three rebounds, a couple of offensive rebounds, but missed them both. And rebound to Jason Matcham, who's into the game. He is a 6'4 senior from Maumee. Have that right? No, that rebound was by Utter. Great pointer, got it. Good point, Matthew. Good number 15. Brendan Callahan. Second triple for Callahan. Once again, good ball movement from the Panthers, and I like the fact that even though they're down right now, Norm, they've been very patient offensively. 16 to 11. Adams toward the baseline. Doesn't force anything. Best grow for three. That's no good. Rebound Utter. Now this game's starting to settle in here a little bit. Calipetro to Callahan to Brantley. And again, Stritch switching up the defensive pressure. Getting away from that 3-2 now. going more into a man situation. Into the paint, dish in underneath. Adams got a piece of it, but there's a foul before that. And I love that drive from Callahan right there. Didn't have an open look on the perimeter, but saw that he had an opening on the right side and took it into the defense. Found the big fella down low. First one good by the senior off the bench, Jason Jason Matcham. Young fella held his own against Scott, had 13 points in that one. And every year with Scott, I mean, it really doesn't matter whether they're up or down. They, they are always running the floor. I mean, if they get a rebound, they're going out in transition. So that that's a team that can wear you down. And for that young fella to have 13 points, in a game like that, especially on a team this year with Maumee that's struggling a little bit, has got some inexperience, it says a lot about being able to establish yourself down low. Match them in a bolt, 16-13. Stretch with the lead, just under three to go in a second. Adams down along the baseline, and they have a shot. Popped out, jumper, Romstadt, no good. And a rebound to match him for Maumee. Last touch by the Cardinals. Want to remind people too, you can check us out online at Twitter, at Toledo Sports NW, and also on Facebook at Toledo Sports Network. And on our website at ToledoSportsNetwork.com, where you can watch tons of past games, thanks to Mike Jamison. And we're on YouTube, and we get those games up pretty quick. If you go to YouTube and type in Toledo Sports Network. Three pointer. No good. Offensive rebound, Matcham. Morrow to Callahan, to Morrow. Two oh seven to go in the quarter. On the drive, dances, doesn't want to fall. Adams. Just a little bit taller than everybody else. 
Well, he's done such a great job tonight, even though it doesn't have any buckets, of taking away the second chance opportunities from the Panthers. They have got into the corner and had nowhere to go with that pass. Stretch has only scored two points in this whole quarter. Maumee's defense has toughened up. Calipetro tomorrow. To match him. To Callahan into the corner. Calipetro's three is no good. Adams quickly out of there with the rebound. Foul before the shot. That'll be just the fourth team foul on the Panthers. They'll that still have two more to give. Smart foul there that time by Callahan. Not allowing Adams to get into the low block where he's so versatile with those long arms, really good body control. <coughs> Once he gets up and goes up for the layup, that was a great job that time to just get a body on him and make sure he stayed on the floor. And nobody has more than one foul, so that's not an issue. Stritch still has a foul to give. Mommy has two. See Schreiner back in. I think this is the original starting five for the Panthers. Open three. Sine, no good. Rebound to Calipetro. Under a minute to go. Second quarter, 16-13 stretch. Tough pass into the corner. Good hustle, but Callahan couldn't save it. Austin Adams has not scored in this game. No. Been very active on the defensive end. As we just mentioned, doing a great job of taking away a lot of the second chance opportunities from Maumee, but the Panthers doing a great job this quarter, Norm, of really moving the ball well. Stritch switched up their defensive look and went to a man-to-man. -man. Maumee knocked down a couple of shots and made it a one-possession game. And on the defensive end, they've taken away a lot of easy shots from the Cardinals. All right, down to eight seconds, and last touch by the Cardinals with a turnover. They're sixth now, and 6.9 seconds left for Maumee to hold it with one, in one or maybe even tie it. Morrow get the inbound. Guarded by Adams. Picked up his dribble, just have two. Calipetro for three, no good. And we are at halftime. Cardinal Stretch 16, Maumee 13 from the Lake Holiday Classic. We'll be back with the third quarter coming up on the Toledo Sports Network at CW 13. Big Apple Blossom Florist, 2265 Woodville Road in Oregon, is your full service florist with over 30 years floral design experience. Whether you prefer time honored and traditional or contemporary and modern, the Big Apple Blossom will custom design an arrangement for you. Stop by the Big Apple Blossom Florist for unique, one of a kind gifts for all ages. The Big Apple Blossom Florist, 2265 Woodville Road in Oregon. The Union Plumbers, Steam Fitters, and HVACR Service Mechanics of UA Local 50 build the powerhouses that generate your electricity. Install and service your heating and air conditioning systems and install the plumbing systems that protect the health of this nation. Everywhere there's a building being built, retrofitted, or maintained, members of UA Local 50 are on the job with skills and the latest sustainable building practices. To do the job right, UA Local 50 Plumbers, Steam Fitters, and Service Mechanics. Building America's Future. Graymont in Genoa, producers of doclamide lime and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont. For more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. Do your utility bills have you down? Get out from under those heavy bills with new windows from Dunright Building Services. 
New windows from Dunright can change the vision of your home both inside and out. And right now, for a limited time only, you can get any white double hung standard window for only $179 each. Remember, for a job done right, you better call Dunright. New home, same address. It starts with new windows. Call us at Dunright Building Services today. All right, back we are in the Toyo Sports Network, CW 13. Norm Weimer, Mike Bobbin, 16-13. Stretch with your halftime ladies. We get ready for the third quarter. Numbers-wise, Stretch 7 of 18 from the field. Mommy just 4 of 15. Mommy hit three three-pointers to Stretch's two. Rebounding was exactly the same. Both teams with three offensive boards, 11 overall. Stretch with six more turn or six turnovers. Mommy with only three. So you get three extra possessions if you're Mommy, and they were Mommy was two of two from the line, while uh, Stretch was 0 and 0 for two uh, from the line. Well, and that's what's going to be interesting coming in here in the second half, Norm. Cardinal Stritch did not perform well offensively. You could see the disappointment on Cash Merrick's face for Cardinal Stritch when his guys went into the locker room at the half. Only two points in that second quarter, but give credit to Mommy's Bigs. They did a good job cleaning the glass, and I thought did a good job playing inside-outside when Stritch went to man-to-man -to -man defense. Mommy had a 6-2 lead to start this game. Stretch went on a 12-0 run to take a 14-6 lead at the end of the first quarter. And as Mike just mentioned, Mommy outscores Stretch 7-2 in the second quarter. Mommy with the basketball. Jumper no good by Callahan. The rebound payoff for Stretch and a turnover. To the basket, nice move, couldn't get it to go. And a rebound ends up with Blazevich. Right now, Stretch has got to settle down a little bit, a couple of quick turnovers here in the second half, Norm, but you know, really give credit to the Panthers. We talked about their size despite their record coming in here tonight, and they have bottled up Austin Adams Every time he's gone down on the offensive end, zero points tonight for a guy who's gone over 20-plus several times this year for the 4-1 Cardinals. And it looks like Stritch has gone to a 1-3-1 zone. On the drive, got it, nice. Double clutch basket by Austin Calipetro. Austin, Austin Calipetro. I always like that move when a guy Gives the initial fake and goes to the baseline, especially when the defender's flying out at you like that. Hey, I've got into some trouble, but uh, fortunate enough to uh, get the ball chipped away by the Panthers. Adams in the post, back on out. Blazevich got it blocked. Rebound Morrow. Mommy with a chance to take the lead. Calipetro for three. No good. And we're going to get a foul on the rebound. In that case, I you know, Mommy is, is settling for jump shots, I think, when they don't need to. Well, and I and I think what really changes around for them was going inside outside they did it very well at the beginning of the game they did it extremely well in the second quarter norm and it opened up some of those jumpers but early in the possession like that i i really think the emphasis still needs to be to try to get into the paint where they have that size advantage and they've shown it tonight and try to get more opportunities at the free throw line and mommy, just create easy shots too. And, and mommy hit a couple of threes early and sometimes that's a bad thing in high school because then everybody wants to shoot threes and everybody wants to settle for it. Problems in the backcourt, ball on the floor, bodies on the floor. They will call a jump ball, possession arrow favors Stretch, so they'll get to keep it. Timeout Cardinals, full timeout. Full timeout for the Cardinals with a 16-15 lead. 
Blackberry Corner on the corner of 579 and Elliston Road is a proud sponsor of Genoa Football and has the best burgers, chicken, and pizza. You know the pizza. Everyone knows the pizza. Blackberry Corner also has charbroiled pork ribs and Jim's famous chicken dinners. Whether it's appetizers, pizza, or a full dinner, the great folks at Blackberry Corner can help fill you up and save you money. Stop out to Blackberry Corners on the corner of State Route 579 and Elliston Road for a meal or just a snack. Smoothbore Sporting Goods, 425 West College Avenue, Pemberville, Ohio, is your firearm specialist. We buy, sell, trade quality firearms and hunting supplies. Smoothbore Sporting Goods can help you with your technical support for all your firearms along with professional repairs. Call them today at 419-287-7111 before your next weekend of hunting and check out the newest firearms and hunting supplies before you head out. Smoothbore Sporting Goods, 425 West College Avenue in Pemberville, your one-stop hunting and firearms store. The Big Apple Deli has all the food for your next party or get together. The best subs, salads, soups, pasta, party trays, and great, great lunch and dinner specials. The Big Apple Deli, 2118 Woodville Road, has got you ready for all your party needs or just stop out for a great, great lunch. And while we have a time, we want to say thanks again to some of our sponsors, Big Apple Deli. One of those great sponsors also out there on Woodville Road. They've got all your favorite deli products for your next get-together. Still got New Year's Eve coming up. Plenty of time to have some fun and party before the new year. And also Pub 51 on Woodville Road. Great food, spirits, and fun. IBW Local 8. And one of our new sponsors this year, SPL Outfitters. They're out there in the Navarre Plaza next to BW3s. They've got great clothing for all you outdoors men and women and hard workers out there. So if you've got... A little extra spending money after the holiday season, after the holiday with Christmas. Check out SPL Outfitters. And remember, if you'd like to come on board with Toledo Sports Network, help us continue to bring these games to you and reach an audience of over a million people, call us at 419-514-1302. And we'll hook you up and try to spread the name and the word for your business here locally. Homegrown Network for Toledo from Toledo. It's a great pleasure to continue doing these games for you guys. And I would simply ask, are you Team Toledo? We're all from the area. Doing games for the Toledo area. Look at this. All the way underneath. Up and good. Joe Sine. The defense did not get back for the Panthers. Well, and you couldn't ask for a better play to come out after the timeout. Oh, good defense by Robstad. Hunter couldn't get it to go. Blazevich with the rebound. Adams to the basket, up and in, his first bucket. Austin Adams. And you hear Cash Merrick just yell out there, nobody gets behind you. Wanting these guys to remember to get back. Especially after a big bucket, Mommy's going to go the other way. On the inside, didn't want to fall. Rebound Callahan. Twenty to fifteen stretch. Five to go in the third. Morrow, Callahan in the corner, baseline drive, took an extra step once he got there. Had the right idea, just hesitated a little too long, but right now in this quarter, Mommy Norm seems to be getting trapped in the corners a lot instead of keeping the ball closer to the middle of the floor, and the passes haven't been as crisp, but I don't know if that's just because Stritch has railed off a couple of quick buckets and they're pressing a little bit, but getting trapped a lot in the corners and taking some baseline and corner jumpers when I think well, the inside-outside game was really where their bread and butter was in the first half. I think you hit on it. It's settling for jumpers, and look at the pressure. Mommy forces a turnover. But I, Mommy does not need to settle for jumpers. Well, and the they defensive the, pressure is the, good. They have the size advantage. They can take things to the basket, start getting to the free throw line. 
Sometimes you take the path of least resistance. Back to the 3-2 zone for Stretch. There's a pass inside, but Sine chipped it away. 4 or 5 to go in the second. 2015 Stretch. Payoff back in. Best Grove will come out for Stretch. Foul going to be called, I think, on Adams. When you settle for jumpers and you don't hit them, you look sluggish. Well, and it takes the wind out of your sails a little bit because you're pressing and trying to get buckets, and especially in a game where it's been pretty closely contested since the first quarter when it was 14-6. to six, Those easy ones... Whether or not you make them down low, you're going to draw the contact because you got the size advantage. Lost his footing. Was Otter rebound Ewer. There's a pretty good battle going down low right now between Schreiner and Joe Sine. Time they tried to force it inside. Knocked out of bounds by Maumee. Well, the other thing going back to, to, to Maumee on offense is that when Stretch defenders out high near the three-point circle, leaving only two defenders down low, which gives you the opportunity to do some things down along the baseline. But you got to get it down there. Traveling on Sine. And that's 11 right now. I think Stritch, by my count, had six at half. I could be wrong, but I believe they've had at least four, maybe five turnovers here in this quarter, and we've still got three minutes to go in the third. I got four in the quarter and had six at half. There you go. Inside, up and in. Jared Schreiner. 20 to 17 stretch. Where has that been? Payev. Nice steal. Callahan jumps the passing lane. Josh Brantley, 5'9 sophomore, number 11 in the game for Maumee. Callahan will bring it back out. See, I mean, there's room down there in the baseline. But you got to get it down there. Match him to Callahan. To Brantley. Out to Utter, but Utter needs to be down low. Match him to Callahan, could get the shot off. Jumper, match him, got it. His first bucket, he's got four. The stretch lead is one at 20 to 19. And once again, the Panthers showing good patience there on that possession, not trying to force anything. Worked it around in the paint, and once again, they get an open look going inside outside. Hello, trying to split the double, got it taken away. Good defense by Schreiner. Brantley, travel. I only got six turnovers by Maumee tonight. I have the same. Derek Sheridan, the uh, coach of the Panthers, has to be happy with that part of it. Well, and he's been there for seven years. He's got four letter winners coming back this year, also four starters. They were 4-18 last year, 3-11 in the NLL. They've lost a couple of pretty good perimeter players over the last two, three years. So they've got some young guys like Mr. Brantley that they're working in at 5-9. He'll probably still grow. Pretty athletic so far, good ball handler at only a sophomore. But size can help you make up for a lot of inexperience at the high school level if you're in the right position, as we're seeing here tonight. Adams across the timeline. 
Stretch his lead is one. They have struggled offensively since that 12-0 run. And that is an unforced turnover. I got seven of those in the seven turnovers in the quarter. Best road. Well, and Stritch came out of the timeout early. They did a really good job of uh, coming out of the timeout, making a good play. A minute to go in the third. There's that 1 3 1 again with Adams, the 6 6 senior up high. And if they're going to stay in the zone, Mommy's going to just hang on to it for the final shot of the quarter. Well, and, and I heard you mention earlier, and that was one thing that I've always noticed about Adams as we've covered him over the year doing stretch games, Norm, is he doesn't force anything offensively. The defense of Maumee, give them credit, has done a great job of kind of keeping him away, making him work every time he has the ball in his hands. But on the defensive end, he did a great job, especially in the first half, of getting a lot of second chance opportunities away from the Panthers. There's a timeout. Yeah, we can take one as well. 23 seconds to go in the quarter. 20 to 19, stretch with the lead. You're watching the Toledo Sports Network and CW 13. Pro Golf Academies and Technologies and Pro Golf Fairways. Toledo's number one stop for all your golf equipment needs. Instruction with licensed PGA and LPGA Tour instructor Jeff Menor. And the best golf simulators in the area. Located right next to Nick and Jimmy's on Monroe Street. Custom club fitting with name brand clubs and professional loft and lie capability. Now you can play in 18 holes on our Pro Golf Fairways with over 80 courses throughout the world. With our state-of-the-art golf simulator systems. Call us at 419-205-6644. 23.1 seconds to go in the third. Stretch 20, Maumee 19. A first to two in the Lake Holiday Classic. Lake and Brian to follow. We had a lot of fun out here last year. A lot of entertaining basketball. And so far it's been the same thing here tonight. We had a pretty good crowd tonight too. Well, I think it goes to show, too, when you have good coaching at the high school level, Sheridan's got his guys focused tonight on the defensive end. All right, down to 12 seconds to go in the quarter. Morrow. Got it inside, got it to the baseline. Jumper by Utter, no good. Weak side rebound, Panthers. Shot back up, no good, and that's going to end the third. And after the third quarter, 20 to 19, stretch with a one point Harvard lead. We're headed to the fourth the on the Toledo Sports Network and CW 13. Safety Partners Limited has been providing excellence in safety since 1992 adding our Oregon, Ohio store in 2013. SPL Outfitters provides face, head, foot, hand, body, and hearing protection with great brands like Wolverine, Red Cap, Dickey, Wrangler Workwear, and many top safety brands. SPL also carries fire-resistant clothing, harnesses, high-vis apparel, boots, and boot care items. SPL is located in the Buffalo Wild Wings Plaza on Navarre Avenue. Pub 51 is just a great neighborhood bar and grill. They're about as close to being all things to all people as I've seen. They have a miniature bowling league, and they take that pretty darn seriously. Oh, and a dartball league, and a cornhole league, and a pool league. They have a lot of leagues. Pub 51 has a big outdoor patio, too. Well, their pizza and food are reasonably priced, too. Give Pub 51 a try. They're on Woodville Road, just a half mile east of the Woodville Mall. As we go to the fourth, only six points from the Cardinals, Norm, since the first quarter. Maumee, conversely, with 13. And a lot of turnovers there by Stritch in the second half. It's ballooned to 13 now for the Cardinals. And conversely, Maumee's done a pretty good job taking care of the basketball. Only six turnovers. This is where your 6'6 six, six senior, your player that gets talked about for Conference Player of the Year has to take over. Ba baseline drive, got it. Matcham has six, and the and Panthers good. take the lead. Young fella's got some smoothness to his game. I like the take and the floater that time. Taking it to the basket. And one guy who had a monster first half for the Cardinals. Adams for three, no good. Rebound Panthers and Schreiner. 
was Robstad. We haven't seen a whole lot of him here at all in the second half, Norm. Adams had a pretty good look there, too. Three-pointer, matchup. Back of the rim, no good. Rebound ends up with Schreiner. Sine did a nice job of boxing out on that rebound, but nobody went after the ball. Oh, on the cut. Morrow had a lane to the basket, but he was fouled on the way in. That was a great look that time, and so much of basketball, too. You can get a lot of great looks if there's just activity away from the ball. You mentioned the zone earlier from Cardinal Stritch. That's when you've got to have a lot of movement. Three-pointer. Calipetro no good. Inside rebound, but he put it on the floor and got it knocked away. Was utter. That's why you do those... They used to do the drills before the game of everybody off the backboard. Tip drill. Don't. If you're a big guy down low, don't bring that ball down where the little guys can get it. Mike Jameson, who's a, I don't know, 6'5", six, six, not his head over here. Look at that. <laughs> On the inside, Utter off the glass and good. And it's a three-point mommy lead. Been a long time since they had a three-point lead. And a steal, Morrow to the basket. No good, but through the foul. Young fellow's been hustling them tonight. Only three points, but doing a pretty good job defensively, as you saw right there. Active hands, playing close up on the basketball. And we're going to get a stretch timeout. And that gives us a chance to say thanks again to some of our great sponsors. First Federal Bank, it can help you with all your financial needs in the Northwest Ohio area. And also Pro Golf Fairways, give them a call at 419-205-6644, located right next to Nick and Jimmy's, over on Monroe Street, across from Franklin Park Mall. All you diehard golfers out there want to work on your swing, got to get the clubs regripped, or maybe you're just a junkie and you want to check out some new equipment, Jeff Menor over there can hook you up. Guy's a pro, sits in with us every Saturday morning on 106.5 The Ticket for the three for all. We always have a lot of fun, so you can come out and get a free lesson at 8 o'clock every Saturday morning as well. Going to line, shooting two for the Panthers, number 21, in the Louis lesson. Morrow. Yeah, I need some practice hitting out from between the trees. <laughs> well, Louis Morrow goes to the line. First one good. And that's a four-point mommy lead. That was their biggest at 6-2. That free throw, no good. Rebound inside. And mommy will call time. And Schreiner took the ball away inside. Well, and what I like from mommy's bigs, too, right now, Norm, is even though guys like Schreiner, you know, doesn't that's have... Hustle. Doesn't have, you got exactly right, two points tonight, but they're active when they're not getting the basketball and doing the dirty work down low, and that's what you want from your bigs. If you, down the stretch, if you want to get a hint on who very well may win the game, watch where the 50-50 balls go. And that was a 50-50 ball. That's a huge offensive rebound. 6-14 to go. Mommy with a 24-20 lead. Panthers to inbound. We got some fresh blood in there for the Cardinals. Andrew Kuzno and Adam Bruckner getting some time here in the fourth. They're out there to play some defense here. In the post and back on out. I don't think that's utter shot. Calipetro got it just inside the arc. And now a six-point mommy lead at 26-20. Foul on Callahan. It's a non-shooter. 7-0 run here for mommy in the fourth quarter. And that's been a fun matchup to watch between Callahan and Austin Adams. 
on both ends of the court. But I think the tough part here, as you mentioned, you want Adams to take over if you're a stretch fan, but all eyes are on him when he's got the basketball, too. And that kind of makes it a little more difficult to create something for yourself. Adams wow. dribbled it off his foot, maintained oh, the dribble, <laughs> and got the basket. And just as I say that, he creates something for himself there. 26, 22. Mommy with a four-point lead, flirting with danger. Morrow to the basket, oh, got it. Ooh. Nice finger roll. The scoop from the young fella. Nice little hesitation dribble, I like it. And again, Mommy doing the dirty work in the paint. 28-22 Panthers. Under five minutes to go. Last touch by Maumee. Stritch will retain. The finals of this, uh, as we're taping this on Friday night, will be Saturday nights. I mean, he changed his name to Louis Hustle. Adams. Somebody had to get a piece of that. Still fighting for the ball, and Adams comes up with it. Adams Ooh. got into trouble. He took a hit from Schreiner. And he's still catching his breath. Well, you're gonna get you're gonna get physical play when you get teams out of the NLL. You just are. It's a good football league. And those big, strong kids, a lot of them play basketball. Foul line, jumper, got it. Calipetro. As we give number 13, Austin Calipetro. Oh, me now with an eight-point lead with under four minutes to go. And the young fella's feeling it. Last couple of possessions, a lot of confidence when he lets that ball go. Offensive foul as he lowered his shoulder to AF. And I have 16 turnovers for Stritch. Taking the Cardinals, number 12, Andrew Cusco. <laughs> and number 30, Bobby Romstad. Andy Kuz, Andrew Kuzno and uh, Bobby Romstad in for Cardinal Stretch. Well, payoffs, you know, he's, he's playing competitive, but I think he's been a little hard on himself here in the second half. He's made a couple of mistakes, had a couple of big threes early in the, in the game. But once again, give credit to that mommy defense, especially on the perimeter. They've been some pit bulls out there. that foul went on Ewer, his second. 15 foul for Stretch. Nobody has made it to the one and one tonight. And Mommy isn't gonna be in any type of hurry. And once again, just eight points from Cardinal Stretch since the end of the first quarter. Callahan for three and he buried it from the left wing. Third triple for Callahan. The Maumee lead is 11 at 33-22. It's a 14-2 quarter for the Panthers. Into the corner, open three. Kuzno no good, rebound Maumee. Morrow on the outlet to the basket. Up and in. Utter. And no question that Stritch needs a timeout with 2.50 to go. We'll take time. It's Maumee 35 and Stritch 22 on the Toledo Sports Network and CW 13. On the job for you for over 100 years, you need a career. You need a future. Local 8 can help you make it happen. Join the men and women who build our community. Become a part of a proud tradition. Build your career. Build your future with the brothers and sisters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 8. We're on the job for you. We're on the job for you.
The Union Plumbers, Steam Fitters, and HVACR Service Mechanics of UA Local 50 build the powerhouses that generate your electricity. Install and service your heating and air conditioning systems and install the plumbing systems that protect the health of this nation. Everywhere there's a building being built, retrofitted, or maintained, members of UA Local 50 are on the job with skills and the latest sustainable building practices. To do the job right, UA Local 50 Plumbers, Steam Fitters, and Service Mechanics. Building America's future. Hope you're enjoying the game today. Hi, I'm Mike Jamison, president of ToledoSportsNetwork.com. Now, Channel 13 and the wonderful people here are bringing some great games to you each and every week. And we'd love to make your company part of what we're putting together here. We've got the reach and we've got the ability to get you out at a reasonable cost so that all of these wonderful people can talk about your business, whether it's on the internet, on live television, or live internet. You can give us a call at 419-514-1302. Let us spotlight what you have here with all of our unbelievable packages that we have. And we make it very cost effective for even the smallest business. Creative Video Imagery and the Toledo Sports Network is proud to bring you this game right here on 13.2 The Live Well Network. Thirty-five, twenty-two, a sixteen to two quarter for Maumee with two fifty left. And since that fourteen to six first quarter from stretch, the Cardinals just have eight points. Well, and the Panthers right now, I mean, obviously at 0-5, itching for a win, but prior to the Scott loss, they only lost by four points to Anthony Wayne, 48-44, and a five-point loss to Eastwood, who we've done a couple of games this year. I mean, this is a team that's really competed, save for a couple of games on the schedule. So you look at that size, and once again, we talked about it all night. It's been there. Inside the basket, up and in by Sine. 35-24, Maumee. Gonna have to get it across, they do. Utter. Two seventeen to go. Defensively, Stritch has to make something happen. Brantley, well, that shot no good. Last touch, I believe, by the Cardinals. And now two oh five to go. Well, what I like from what I've seen from the Panthers tonight too, Norm, is. You know, they've really embodied Sheridan's demeanor, which is just cool as a cucumber. They never got flustered even when they were down, continued to play tough defense, and especially this quarter got back to the basics in terms of trying to go to the paint and make stuff happen. Long pass, dangerous one, too. Morrow into the paint, to the basket. No good, but through the foul, we'll go to the line for a pair. You take the ball to the hoop, good things happen most of the time. Well, and that young fellow has really been all over the place here in the fourth quarter, playing offense, defense, had a nice little scoop earlier. Really hustling out there. First one good by Morrow. He's got seven. The mommy lead, 36-24. Two minutes to go. Second one good as well. Bound to Adams. Looking for a screen to the baseline. All right, find Sine on the inside. Joe Nothing good. Sine. 37 26. Good job by the Panthers to get that across. 
And a half to go. Morrow to the hole. Not going to count. Offensive foul. It's a little bit of a tough call. I think. Well, it's tough when you see him get away from all the defenders like that, and I think that's why he's upset. Had a couple of nice moves, patient with the basketball, and finally gets to the bucket and you, and you draw the foul. But give credit to Stritch for keeping their hands straight up. Usually when you do that, you're going to have an opportunity to get the call. Not sure why we got a whistle. Official having a chat with Derek Sheridan. Guess they had to finish their chance. <laughs> Adams. Cousineau. No good. Rebound more me. Good defense by Romstad, but Maumee will keep it. 11-point lead with a minute four to go. And, you know, when you start to wonder at some point, is it, is it the activity and in, in the size of Maumee that's been able to take Romstad and Adams out of the game here in the second half, or is it part of the frustration of the Cardinals offensively not knocking down shots and kind of getting away from what got them there in the beginning part of the game because Romstadt was all over the place in the first half. He was doing a great job as far as he being a utility guy. Too many turnovers for one. That's 16 while I only have eight for Maumee. You get eight extra possessions right there. Reach and foul on Adams, but you got to do something at this point. Seventh team foul for Stritch, so we get the First trip to the line for the first one and one of the night with 49.9 to go. Front end is good for Callahan, who leads all scorers with 10. And they've done a great job tonight with the freebie. Six for seven by my count for Maumee from the free throw line tonight. Second one, good. I want to say thanks again to IBW Local 8, UA Local 50, Pub 51, and Big Apple Deli. Got a lot of great college football still to play coming up here the next few weeks. So go out there, Big Apple Deli on Woodville Road. Got all your favorite deli products for your next get-together. And once again, Pub 51, also on Woodville Road. Great food, spirits, and fun. And don't forget to check out ToledoSportsNetwork.com all week for our upcoming sports shows. Football, golf, hockey, much more. You can check that out at ToledoSportsNetwork.com. And our bank, First Federal Bank, proud sponsor at Toledo Sports Network. They can help you with all your financial needs here in Northwest Ohio. So who do you think is going to play Alabama in the championship game? <laughs> ah, Norm, you're a fun one. You're a fun I kind of like Florida State. <laughs> Mm. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to watch. It's going to be fun you, to watch and play You like out. Oregon to play Alabama? Or? I like Oregon to play Ohio State. Really? I didn't know they had a consolation <laughs> game. <laughs> you are not making friends with the Buckeyes right now. Hey, I'm an Ohio State fan. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Just don't think they're going to the championship game with their third string quarterback. Time will tell. Adams for three. No good. There's that 50-50 ball again. It goes to Calipetro for Maumee. Down to a half minute to go. Boy, a foul. And I got to tell you that you would think that there's a, a five-second call coming there. <laughs> Time on Panthers. Cool timeout. Maumee will take a timeout, so let's take a timeout as well. It's Maumee by 13 on the Toledo Sports Network and CW13. 
39-26 Maumee. Panthers got a timeout. So there was no foul call there. And that avoided the five second call, which was coming very shortly. Classic trap on the sideline. Pretty good job by Stritch, but give credit to Maumee here in the second half, really taking control of the basketball game. Hunter tomorrow. Down under 20 seconds to go in the game. Stritch continuing to play, but now they may just let him dribble it out. Three, two, one, and that's it. So Maumee gets into the win column for the first time this year with a big fourth quarter. A 20-point fourth quarter for Maumee as they outscore the Cardinals 20-6 in the fourth. Maumee, your winner, 39, Stritch 26. We'll be back to wrap it up on the Toledo Sports Network and CW13. On the job for you for over 100 years. You need a career. You need a future. Local 8 can help you make it happen. Join the men and women who build our community. Become a part of a proud tradition. Build your career. Build your future with the brothers and sisters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 8. We're on the job for you. We're on the job for you. The Union Plumbers, Steam Fitters, and HVACR Service Mechanics of UA Local 50 build the powerhouses that generate your electricity. Install and service your heating and air conditioning systems and install the plumbing systems that protect the health of this nation. Everywhere there's a building being built, retrofitted, or maintained, members of UA Local 50 are on the job with skills and the latest sustainable building practices. To do the job right, UA Local 50 Plumbers, Steam Fitters, and Service Mechanics. Building America's Future. Remember this? Uh -huh. How could you forget? <laughs> Bet you wish you had one of these last winter. Pass Electronics has remote car starters from 129 installed, plus heated seats starting at just 149. No one can stop the winter, but with TAS, you can have a nice warm vehicle waiting for you. Get over to TAS today. TAS Electronics. You know. TAS Electronics. It's hot. Safety Partners Limited has been providing excellence in safety since 1992, adding our Oregon, Ohio store in 2013. SPL Outfitters provides face, head, foot, hand, body, and hearing protection with great brands like Wolverine, Red Cap, Dickey, Wrangler Workwear, and many top safety brands. SPL also carries fire-resistant clothing, harnesses, high-vis apparel, boots, and boot care items. SPL is located in the Buffalo Wild Wings Plaza on Navarre Avenue. Back we are, the Toledo Sports Network, CW13, Norm Weimer along with Mike Bauman. Maumee, a big 20-point uh, fourth quarter, comes away with a 39-26 win. They'll take it to the finals of the Lake Holiday Classic on Saturday night, and they'll take on the winner of our next game coming up. Yeah, great defense down the stretch from the Panthers. I thought they did a great job, Norm, of getting back to the basics in terms of getting into the paint and really just being calm, cool, and collected out there when the pressure was on against Stritch. And give them credit. Taking Austin Adams out of the game is no easy task, and that's exactly what they did when he had the ball in his hands. Our next game here, it's the Bryan Golden Eagles to take on the undefeated Lake Flyers at Torino. Yeah, you know, the Bryan Golden Bears coming in here, or Golden Eagles, rather, lost a lot okay. of experience. Golden Bears. <laughs> Golden Bears. That's all right. Lost a lot of experience from last year. Eight seniors, if my memory serves me correctly. But this is a team that's very well coached. Billman, the head coach, is in his ninth year out there now for Bryan. And you look at these guys, they play very hard. It's a very entertaining game last year. The keys for them are going to be the rebound, take care of the ball, and try to guard all their shooting, according to Coach Billman, which is no easy task. And conversely, for Lake, getting a chance to talk to Coach Bowen, Norm, they like to play fast. They like to get out there and get out in transition. They're not a half-court team, so it's going to be fun to see the transition game and second-chance opportunities yep. tonight. And Lake has a lot of offensive ammo. It starts with Connor Bowen. It's coming your way next. Lake Flyers taking on Brian on the Toledo Sports Network and CW13. 